Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to build this DC power strip uh, for organizing all the wires uh, when plugging in electronic devices and make some nice cords to go with it. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. So in my tinker corner here, I have this power strip. However, it's almost always full, um, but many of the things that I use and plug into it uh, only need five or 12 volts, such as uh, these units that I built, charging the phone. Uh, so I thought, wouldn't it be cool to build um, you know, a unit here that where you can regulate the voltage and set it to five or 12 volts or whatever it is that you need, and then plug all these things directly in here, um, and then just have one cord that goes into here. So that is what I'm going to build today. So I started with making a sketch of the design. For this build, I need to use two voltage regulators. I picked mine up online. I also need a switch, and then I'm going to add a series of outlets that you can plug male pigtails into. This is kind of the design that I'm thinking. The rectangles in the middle uh, are to show the screens on the voltage regulators. Then we have outlets underneath, a switch, and a light to signify if the unit is on. So I'm starting with cutting up the materials for the box itself, and I'm using a quarter inch MDF. The final dimensions of the box will measure 8 by 8 by 2.5 inches, so just cutting up the pieces for that. And let's put it together. looks good. Now let's start working on the front of the box. So first I'm getting the dimensions of the plug and setting up a compass. So drawing a circle and then seeing how far I want the outlets apart and three quarter of an inch in between each center seems like a good distance. So drawing those all out. Sketching out the space for the switch and the position of the voltage regulators. Also measuring out where the screens are and where the holes need to go for those on the board, as well as where the little button that changes the output on the screen is located. And uh, there it is, all marked out. So I'm starting with drilling out the holes for the outlets using the drill press and a 7 16 inch bit. I'm also drilling holes in the center for where the screens will display to remove some material. And then cleaning up those rectangles with some chisel work. This whole project is part of an attempt to further organize my tinker area, so I hope this is going to help tidy up that space. The uh, drawers of the tinker table filled up a little faster than I thought with uh, wires, uh, batteries and so on. Also drilling holes for areas that I need to access on the voltage regulators. A hole where you can insert a screwdriver to change the output, and a spot with a button to push to change the display on the screen. Then doing a little sanding, a little cleaning up with a chisel, and I'm ready to assemble the box together. So measuring out an eighth of an inch around the top where I'm going to drill holes to screw it in. Doing some countersinking here. Now to put the box together, I'm starting with yellow glue around the edges. Then I'm adding small amounts of hot glue on one piece at a time, because it stiffens up so quickly. And this basically acts as a clamp while the yellow glue dries. It works really well. And then simply screwing the top in place. I uh, decided to paint this box white for some contrast, and I'm just using cheap basic white paint here. To paint the inside of those little holes, I'm using a small brush. Then once the paint dried, I put on two coats of water-based polyurethane, which I really like because it doesn't add a yellow tone and uh, you know it dries quickly. And of course it also adds some additional protection. So real quick, let's go over the electronics here. So I have a 20 volt AC-DC power supply. First, there's a switch, and we have an LED light, which I need a resistor for. 
Then this is hooked up to a voltage regulator, which connects to several output plugs. So soldering a 2600 ohm resistor on the LED light here and fitting everything in the box. I drilled a hole on the back side too to connect a plug in to power the whole unit. Then uh, soldering everything together. Um, a lot of people don't like soldering, but it's really easy and fun. Plus, as you make more projects, you get more practice. Just putting the wires into the voltage regulators. Putting in the plugs, cutting the cords, separating them, and uh, doing a little more soldering. Hooking this up here and making sure it works. So on the voltage regulators there's this potentiometer on the top that you can control and change the output with. I'm also going to use this small mechanical screw here and enter it through one of the holes I drilled. Then on the board there's this little button to change whether to show the voltage output or input and the screw is lining up on the button so I can push it to change the screen. Next I'm hot gluing some wooden dowels in the corners here. And this is so I can glue those to the box to secure the board. Then I'm hot gluing the plugs in, the switch, as well as the dowels on the boards. Now I put together a couple of cords with pigtails on both sides to plug into this unit to power different things. However, to protect the wires, I figured why not secure some mason line, which happens to be bright pink, with some hot glue. And then I'm just adding a little glue, spinning the cord around, and so on until it's all covered. So let's try the power strip out, see if it works. So I've got it plugged in, and you can see it is set to 12 volts on the left side. Plugging it into the third hand task lamp here and it works really nice. So next I'm plugging uh, a plug into the 5 volt side and this is to charge up the phone. This is the same voltage if you charge something from your computer through your USB port. Now to alter the voltage output all I do is to insert a small screwdriver into this hole and turn it to get just the amount I need. And uh, if I want to see what the input is as opposed to the output, then I just click this little button here which is that mechanical screw I put in. And I can do that on the other side too and then change it back. So that's pretty cool. So I think this is a really functional project, especially if you have uh, multiple devices to plug into something like this. And I mean, who doesn't? I mean, charging up the cell phone or uh, Bluetooth speakers or uh, Raspberry Pis, you know, any low voltage electronics. You may notice that this is pretty deep and that's because it's part of a, an organization system that I'm building here for this desk. It's going to slip in in the corner really nicely, which is why I made it this size. But you can make it any size you'd like. Now to power this, I'm using a 20 volt AC-DC adapter. And um, then I made some power and some cords here to uh, plug into this. So here you have um, male pigtails uh, that plug into here. And then you can put whatever you need on the other side. Um, so uh, you can put another pigtail or here, I've uh, put one of these smaller ones that you, you know, plug into the phone to charge it. I've even made one of the USB. And then to kind of make them a little bit more substantial and to protect the wire, I decided to wrap the mason line around them. And I, I just think that's kind of cool. Uh, it makes them stand out so that when, when you're working on other projects with wires and stuff, you won't be confused about which wires are what. Um, so I kind of like that. All the products that I used to build this will be listed in the description below. Um, yeah, and if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming projects. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.